All right, Vandy Treasure Hunters, this is it. This is what we got left on episode six of the Lower Burl Unit. So you stay tuned. We don't even know what's here. Look at the pictures. I oh, can't wait to see those. Stay tuned. Okay, Vanny Treasure Hunters, let's go. We got four totes, and we don't know what's back there. Let's see what we got in the tote. Stay the back. Work smart, not hard, they say. Oh, we got more peacocks. I don't think we went through this tote. Look at them peacocks. Beautiful. And more peacocks. Coaster. Little tiny table mare. More elephants. Ooh, look at that. Is that beautiful? It looks it almost looks Asian. That is beautiful. I can't remember. I think we did have a couple of those. And what else could we have but more peacocks? And I believe if, oh, there, it's just like that. I had to find the head. All right, guys. Uh-oh. Oh, what was his name, cowboy? I can't remember his name. I don't know if, it, yeah, he does something. Look at that guy. Is that pretty or what? And yes, I know what's behind is pretty. So how about yourselves? You guys have loving yourselves too. There's a pretty egg. It's almost as fragile as a real egg too. Oh. See what else you got here guys? This looks like a nice coat. Woo! Another one of those. Now y'all remember what those are now. Keep it, remember that. You may want to remember those for the grand finale. Here's some candle holders. Those are pretty. They are very pretty. They had everything packed pretty well. Look at them point of roses. Those are roses. Two different sizes. They're... Yeah, you read that, guys. Made in Italy. Looks like that one may be cracked. One of the leaves is cracked on it. Alright, anything else in this tote? Nope, just packing material and packing. Hey, let's see what's in the next tote. Stay there. Uh oh, another red tote, guys. Do you think it could be another Christmas tote? See? And it looks to be. But you know, Christmas in July is coming up. Somebody may want to decorate. Let's see if I can find just some of the things. I'm not going to empty this whole tote. We all know Christmas decorations, but you never know what kind of artifacts you can find. If I remember right, these are empty boxes. But I believe in the last episode, we may have had some of that stuff. Here's a Hallmark keepsake. Baby's first Christmas. And it's in there. One, two, three. I don't know why one, two, three is there, but that's pretty. Baby sees one, two, three just made. 
Here's some candy cane decorations. Look like they were put in the ground, which is probably what they're made for. I don't know if they make it too far in Pennsylvania, though. You never know what the weather's going to be like. Snowman candle holder. There are boxes in here, guys. That's why I'm going through everything. I want to see what's in them boxes. I want you to see. Look at that pretty. Dog pulling the sleigh. Okay, guys. Let's keep going through the tote. We got a little pink cushion or an ornament. That's pretty, actually. We got a little angels. Another angels. And a house. Beautiful. Beautiful decorations, guys. 1987 Christmas. I don't think my daughter remembers that, do you, Leland? I wasn't born yet. <laughs> That's when I joined Active Army at 87. That was just a few days ago. Look at that cute little dog. Or that's a reindeer. Without the horns. The hat's covering the horns. Come on, Dad. Another coffee mug. I think we already had one of them. Unless I just sat it down and it's the same one. I don't know. I remember having those when I was a kid. Look at these. Are these beautiful? Ooh. Look at that gold. Yes, I did unwrap the stuff while the camera was having an issue, so. All right, so we can get to roof a little quicker. There's a Santa Bell. And anybody knows me knows I like my bells and I like my shot glasses and tools, of course. There's an angel. That's what you call silver and gold, guys. All right, this is why I decided to go through the box. I wanted to see what was in here. There's a Chris Carousel Music, Lights and Music. Some kind of a basketball boat ornament. Kansas Basketball 2007 and 8. Some of you may want that. Classic collectibles. Santa Claus. I don't know if this one plays music or not. It is from Kmart. And I can't tell if that's Department 56. Pretty though. It's a felt Santa. And I'm just curious to see if that's what's in the box. Let's see. Actually, it's not a felt Santa. So, maybe I should be looking in these boxes. What do you guys think? There's a felt Mrs. Santa Claus. And here's a sort of felt Santa Claus. So I guess I'm going to have to start looking in the boxes, aren't I? All right. Ooh. That's a bronze Santa Claus. That will be kept in the house. Let's look in this box, see. Well, the styrofoam's in there, so I'm going to say it's in there. And we've seen the carousel's in there, so. And this is in there, wow. Traditional angels, horse nativity accent light. And musical with bells. Just wind them up. You'll play your music. You hear that, guys? All right. Let's go to the next tote. That is the rest of this tote. I know Christmas ornaments can be boring, but they're, they're very beautiful at times, too. Oh, boy. It says Christmas, too. Cross our fingers, guys. And it's Christmas. Tree top on a sunny day.
three singing angels. You just, I don't know if the candles are in there or not. You just get the metal candles and put them in them. The angels are in there. Got a light post. A Christmas tree. Oh, a pine tree anyway with glitter. So we'll say it's a pie, a Christmas tree with my glitter. pretty heavy that's why all right nine west change the shoe maybe let's see what do we got Ooh -wee. my favorite I know I got a lot of favorites but I gotta go through this guy because I love snow globes it's a musical one The old type shaking ones. What is that? A snowman, a Christmas tree. That's just a Santa Claus candle holder. Another snowman globe. Boy, they keep getting smaller, don't they, Leela? Mm hmm. Another one of the old fashions. I'm more of the big ones than the small ones. Another musical one. That's just a stocking picture frame. Oh, another bell, Sissy. It's a little bit chipped up. I guess I see why it was a little heavier. Oh, a little teddy bear. Grandma Bear would have liked that one. Two more gloves, guys. Well, two more containers anyway. Well, that's an activity set. Which I believe we had the box for this. Entirely. That's only part of it, so I'm not sure where the other parts are. Oh. One last snow globe, guys. And once again, it's musical. And it's got nativity in the center. Oh. <coughs> Let's see what else is in the tote. Uh, just a piece of felt, tablecloth or something. So a couple packs of stickers and a couple candles. No, that ain't candles, those are pieces of wood. Santa Woods. Looks like it must have been a school project. All right, that's everything in that tote. One more tote, guys. It says stop the outfits. Stay there, stay there. I'm going to do that. Well, <laughs> there's one more Merry Christmas. Made out of a fan, a uh, ceiling fan blade. But besides that, it's plush. Here's a penguin. Here's Mr. Elephant. And it is a bunch of elephants. I don't know what candy cane is for. We're not going to pull all of them out, but I will go through them. That's a milk bone elephant. Some plush are good on eBay. So I will go through them. Oh, I guess that's what Santa Claus or the candy cane went on that ear all right guys that looks to be the unit except the ring of finale we're clearing this all way out first so we could bring you that ring of finale Alright 
guys. Here we go. Sorry about the time. This is upside down invoice. Fine art imports. Originally $247.17 with tax. Regular price was $330. Then it gave them a discount. Let's see what this beautiful picture is. Anybody knows pictures, please let me know. That is beautiful. Oh, it is upside down. It is a peacock. It's a white one. An albino peacock. That is beautiful. Let's see if it's got a year. Two peacocks on a great vine. Fine art import. Fine art imports. Sterling Heights, Michigan. It came from. I don't see the receipt says 2000. So how old it really is, I don't know. It is beautiful though. Now these are hard to sell. I got to find a collector. This one is even more beautiful. Oh wow. And signed. See there's a little deficiency. That's oil painting. So it is original, We've got a little bit of deficiencies up here. It don't have the receipt, it's a Kirkland's. And I don't see a year on it. At all. So now what we'll do, is we're gonna end this video with the to my, in me, in my opinion, the best item in this unit. Well, this is very heavy. Are you ready? We're ready. Just a minute. Suspense is killing me. There it is. A black table. Is that worth waiting for, guys? You don't think so either? No. I don't think so. Remember oh, those corpses, wow. guys? Look at that. Now, that was worth waiting for. I see it's got a little crack right here, which hopefully didn't have from us moving it. But it's probably about 45, 50 pounds. Easy. A lot of mirror there but guys this is why we buy units like this to find things that people would like to have they can't afford it we'll probably sell this with the two ends for probably about fifty dollars if you're interested leave it in the comments make sure you like comment and subscribe stay tuned for random treasure hunters this is the end of the lower burrow but there are more to come we buy units all the time check out our ebay store Bandy Treasure Hunters, all one word. Hopefully you'll find something you're interested in. We love you. God bless you. Bye for now.